All right, Google Docs is ready to go. Let's do some typing and add some things to our Google document. So you're a teacher, you've just assigned your document or project to your students and the project is on lions. So let's change our title. We're gonna rename it to lions. So all I did is I clicked on the title, renames it, I hit okay. Boom, it's done. So we want to do some research about lions. And um, we already know some things about lions, but we're going to use a little bit of a tool here that's going to help us. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to tools. We're going to click on research and watch what happens now. What Google does is they have a research component that goes right into the document so you can keep your document open and also search things online and use those in part of your project so if I go to Google and research I want to type in lions here and as you can see it says everything images scholar quotes dictionary tables well we know that lions aren't going to be showing up in tables we know that if we wanted to get a definition of what a lion is we could go to the dictionary quotes um, not sure we're going to really use quotes for this one, but if you ever needed to use a quote for a presentation or a project, that's where you could use that. Scholar, that's getting into your more academic type research. And images, obviously, yeah, we know what that is. That's going to be some images of lions. So let's go to everything here and let's type in lions and watch what happens. It starts to search and it shows up the Detroit lions. Yee, not sure that's what we want. But if we go down here, we might start to see some web results of lions. So as you can see, just typing in the word lions sometimes doesn't always bring up exactly what we want. And it'll bring up anything else that has the word lions because you're basically searching the internet for lions. So we have Wikipedia, of course. It's always going to pop up at the first. It's always like that on any other Google things. But we can see here it says lions information and facts on lions, lions observations, different things about lions. So why don't we type in lions and facts and see what happens. Aha, there we go. We've now changed a little bit of what we're looking at. So if I go and I click on this, watch what happens. It opens up a brand new tab of lion information. And I still have my other document right there. So I can just go back and forth between the two. So say I wanted to go in and I could read this documentation or information. And what I usually tell my students is, go through, you read what you might need. You can always copy and paste it. So I go and I highlight it. I hit Control C, go over here, Control V. And it will paste, it's taking a while here. And there we go. Now I want to be able to do the important thing, I want to cite my information and watch what happens when I hit site it brought up a one right beside it and if I scroll down to the bottom of my document there it goes information lions basic facts about lions defenders of the wild and when it was published according to the website information as well so what I always tell students you're gonna borrow some information that's okay but what you now need to do is rewrite all of this information in your own words. Therefore, I'm keeping them on the same document as they're doing their work. You might do it differently. I sometimes just like to do it this way. It makes things a little easier for the kids sometimes. Or what you can also do is have them rewrite it out on their own before bringing anything in.